What's wrong with education in Indonesia? PISA, Program for International Student Assessment, a survey examining the academic of school children aged 15 years, shows the ability of Indonesian student is ranked seventh, but from the back out of 70 countries. Exactly, we're in 63rd place. Research by Professor Len Preachers from Harvard Kennedy School shows that children in Jakarta are 128 years behind compared to other countries. 128 years! But why? How did it go that far? Nowadays, basic needs are not only food and clothing, but also education. Even so, education in Indonesia is arguably still a cause for concern. It's like unraveling a tangled thread containing thousand problems. Really complicated. But one of the root causes of the problem could be the mass education system. Because this system sets the same standards for all students. Memorizing habits that make us not even understand why a material being studied. Glorifying score, turning off critical thinking reasoning, and eliminating the identity and uniqueness of each student. On the other hand, the problem of our education is no longer about quantity, but the quality. Indonesia is a country with more than 5,000 schools, 45 million students, and 2.7 million teachers. What's the number of schools and school children have increased from year to year? But that doesn't make education so okay until today. Because the proof is, so many schools and teachers do not meet the standards. The result of the National Teacher Competency Test showed the national average performance of our teachers is 53 out of 100. Imagine what happens if the teacher who's supposed to teach us isn't able to teach us well. Some of us are future teachers, aren't we? So we have to change it from ourselves first. We must strive for the education. Because education is the key to progress in the future. Because only and only through education, we can help farmers take care of rice, help breeders herd cows, make faster internet access for all, launch sophisticated satellites into space, design robots that can help humans, or simply to create a better world. But to get to all of that, we have to assemble first. All begin with the assumption that education is the right of all nations. That's why we have to build superb schools in villages, train the skills of teachers as high as the sky, provide protein food to improve the nutrition of Indonesian children, and overhaul education curriculum, so that all children develop according to their respective interests and talents. And finally, education in Indonesia will advance if we Indonesian students improve ourselves. Even though getting a bad score feels like hit by a storm, but we must start to respect the process and throw away the thought of cheating only to get a high score. Because at the end of the day, what we really need is not that score, but curiosity, a willingness to learn, the courage to ask questions, a feeling of complacency and humbleness in a meeting, that the more we know, the more we understand that we know nothing. And from there, so we keep looking and learning about ourselves and the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the problems that must be addressed are in that long and winding. But everything must be fought for so that the children from Sabang to Merauke can be smart and useful for themselves, for the people around them. And that is obtained through the most powerful weapon called education. Malaka once said, the purpose of education is to sharpen intelligence, strengthen willpower, and rewind feelings. I am Melifana Niputri, 
Thank you.